Alrighty then, dudes. So this is basically a redo of um the se of my rebuild. Um, so um, what happened is that my stream wasn't working. My stream basically took was basically ass. So I just was like, you know, what, I'm just gonna restart everything. Um, this is a team where 80 overall, 83 offense, 83 defense. Um, we got Russell Lukong, uh Dan Feeney, Mike Pouncey, Forrest Lamb as our right guard. He was our left guard, but I moved him to right. And then we got our rookie Trey Pipkins, who we drafted in the third over uh, third round. Uh, quarterback, we got Old Man Rivers with Melvin and running and running back is Melvin Gordon and Justin Jackson backing him up. Um, we've got Keenan Allen, Mike Will, um, Dontrell Inman, Travis Benj, and Michael and Malachi Dupree. On defense, um, the secondary, I'm going to start with the secondary, we got Nasir Adderley with Der and Derwin James, then we got Desmond King, um, Casey Hayward, um, Trevor Williams, and Arion Springs, who well, I'm probably going to start next season. Um, go to our linebackers, our linebackers is Thomas Davis, um, Des Den uh, Denzel Perryman, Ochenna Nwosu, and our D-line, our right end is Melvin Ingram. Um, Jerry Tillery and Justin Jones are our D tackles, and Joey Bosa is our left end. So basically, defense is fine. I don't have to worry about much. Um, the offense, I do need a left tackle and a left guard. Um, center maybe, and the receiver. I really do want to pick up a receiver. But other than that, this team doesn't really have that much holes. It's just a lot of them are going to be free safeties this season. So let's go ahead and skip... Um, Go to the mid-season point. I want to get this stream out now, so that way, like, in case something happens to the stream again, um, I don't have to worry about it. Because every time it's like after an hour. But yeah. So here we're at the mid-season point. We are four and four. Um, our contracts is going to be. Philip River. Um, I do want to re-sign Hunter Henry and maybe Austin Eckler. I mean, Justin Jackson has proven to be good, so I'm not worried about that all that much. Um, Jatavis Brown. Um, Thomas Davis does regress, does um, retire, so I need to make sure I sign him. Um, Adrian Phillips, I'm not going to sign him. And where's Jalen Watkins? I'm not going to. Mill, Green Mill. Um, I'd take Jalen Watkins over Adrian Phillips. There we go. He signed. Um, Adrian Phillips, I, I'm going to let him walk. His asking price is too high. Um, Trevor Williams, I definitely want to keep 100. There we go. Um, Austin Eckler, I wanna, I wanna, I'm going to actually check back on him. Um, Melvin Gordon, um, he's going to want... Seven mil a year, and then let's see if we can secure Hunter Henry. Hopefully, we can secure him. Let's see, it's about a million more than what he asked. Okay, cool. Um, Philip Rivers, uh, hopefully, he takes this. Oh my goodness, we don't have enough to sign him. Never mind, I'm not gonna look his way. <laughs> I'm not going to look his way. I oh, yeah, that's that was uh, oh. Ooh, yeah, that, I have to let Easton Sticks start. No, no doubt about that one. Um, okay, so we're gonna so we're gonna scout some people. Um, first off, I'm not gonna look for a QB because I trust in um, Easton Stick and Tyrod Taylor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build around him, like how an NFL team should be built, is around whatever quarterback they have. It shouldn't be, oh, let's get the best player there or anything like that. It's got to be that old school mentality of building around the quarterback. And then if you need a quarterback, then you go for him. Other than that, you know, that that's just me, that old school mentality that I have. I guess. I don't know. Because I can't afford to repay. Uh, I can't afford to re-sign um, Phillip Rivers, so make some expenditures here and I can't re-sign Melvin Gordon so Melvin Gordon's gonna have no choice but to go and I can't re-sign Austin Eckler either so I have no choice but to let go of him too I don't have the money I don't have the funds to re-sign 
the three people that I wanted to resign. So we don't make the playoffs, sadly, unfortunately. Um, we are eight and eight. Um, let's see how. Let's see stat-wise how we did. Um, Philip Rivers, 4,100 yards, uh, of course. Uh, 32 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Um, Melvin Gordon, he, he only he hit 1,007 yards with 12 tutties. Um, Austin Eckler, 170. Um, so this is basically going to be the Justin Jackson show, show 100% because I, I, I just can't resign him. Um, so Hunter Henry, he did good. I don't expect tight ends to get a lot of um, yards. Um, I expect him to get at least like 400 yards at the very least. Um, Mike Williams and Malachi Dupree did good. Um, so we basically kind of spread the ball around a little bit. Um, in terms of blocking, um, Russell Lacone did horrible, and so did Dan Feeney and Trey Pipkins. Um, Forrest Lamp did pretty good, and uh, Mike Pouncey did good too. So I definitely need to look for a center. Hopefully next year's draft is going to help out, help aid it a little bit. Um, everybody looks at all these weekly awards and stuff like that. I personally don't care for them. I'm just going to... I just mainly look at this and all that goodness. Oh, I'm not too worried about the um, good stuff. Yeah. So Super Bowl finally. Um, so I don't know if I have the funds to. I do. Let's we'll see if Melvin Gordon was is willing to take this. Melvin Gordon is his asking price is too high. Like that just leaves us in 22 mil in the hole. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta resign Mike Pouncey. I gotta get Mike Pouncey here. Uh, well, there goes that. Um, hopefully Austin Eckler. Yep. Mike Pouncey, I have to franchise tag him. I have no choice. I can't let him walk yet. Um, so after, if I were to sign him, I wouldn't have a lot of money at all. Um, if I were to re-sign him, I'd have 30 mil in cap. He wants 22 mil, so heck no. Um, Malachi Dupree, I'm gonna go ahead and re-sign him. Malachi Dupree, um, let's go with uh, Arion Springs. Resign him, get him done. Good, good, good. Uh, Spencer Drango, I don't know about him. Um, but that's pretty much all the people that I want to resign. So I definitely need to work on a lot of things for this team. Nah, Isaac Rochelle, no. I'm un unfortunately I have to let him walk. There's just no way. I'd be able to pay them. So 30 million cap. Um, Tyrod Taylor is not going to start. Uh, no way. No way. No how. Um, we got Austin Eckler at least. And Justin Jackson. So that's good. So they're going to share a load together. I forgot to sign Derek Watt. Let's get Derek Watt. Um, let's get Derek Watt on a two-year deal. Two-year, um, he gets three mil a year. I want to have at least 20 mil in cap um, for when I have to um, stuff. For when I have to for the draft and a little bit for next year because um, the, the big guy, the big boys, our contracts are going to be coming up soon. So I need to save up for that. Cody Whitehair is here. Ooh, okay. Cody Whitehairs would would be a nice addition to the team, but I'm just not gonna do that. That'd be a big time waste of money. He wants 35 mil in total. So nope, no way. Um, JC Treader is there. Um, ben Jones is there. Um, honestly, I feel like it's better to just draft. Yeah, I think it's better if I just draft at this point. Yeah, I guess I, I'm just gonna go ahead and draft. Draft somebody. Um, Jack Conklin is there too, but uh, no. Lyle Collins, um, when he was in Dallas, he was a good guard. 
So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's literally nobody that I want to sign right now. Hargraves is nice. Jimmy Jernigan was nice. Um, Danny Shelton is nice. So is Chris Covington. Um, some of these guys are actually good, good pieces to sign. Um, except for the fact that I 100% don't need them. Like even um, Robert Kim Deepchi, I always put him in a D tackle spot, and he always does good. But this time I'm not gonna use him. I want to wait till next year's next year's free agents. So I think um, Miles Jack. No, as much as I would want to sign him, I don't think it's worth it. Because of the money, because of uh, money, um, tranquil to start. He's already a 76 overall, so that's good. Um, I definitely would want to. Uh, let's go ahead and get Jatavis Brown to start. Maybe I don't know. So let's get Jatavis Brown to start. He's gonna be our right outside linebacker. Um, Kaiser White would be his backup until then. Um, but I do want Kaiser White to develop some too. Um, just like how Ethan Stick is gonna develop. Uh, East, not Ethan, Easton Stick is gonna develop some. Um, okay, okay. Uh, defensive wise, um, we don't really need much. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on Melvin Ingram when he regresses, as, so, as well as, um, Casey Hayward. He's in, he's, I think, 30 now. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him, but other than that, I think everybody should be alright. Yeah, I think everybody should be okay. I brought back Jatavis Brown on a, t on a some, I forgot what deal, but I brought him back. Um, I think he, I think um, this is going to be a prove it time for him. Okay, so why did, there we go. Okay. Uh dokie's then. Okay. All right, we're good. So we're good on that end. Um. So now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and um. Sim out this week. See if we got Derek Watt. Yeah, we got Derek Watt. Okay. So now let's look at these prospects real quick. Um. This receiver is good. Um. Of course, this receiver is not doing too good. Um. Let's watch. I'm watching him. Yikes, that's not he's not good at all. And if you guys hear like my fan go need it because you know big boy. Um let's see. Okay, so he's not good at all. Okay, and then let's check this person out. Why are you a first overall talent? You're a third overall talent. Left guard I said also was a need to um Hopefully I can get this guy. If not, that's all right. I ain't worried. I'm okay with having um stuff. Yeah, English. I'm okay with having um Dan Feeney there still. And that's pretty much it for this section, uh, I guess. And then um. Hmm. We're four three under. I forgot. I'm not gonna change the scheme this time. I think I'm gonna leave it as just as that. Um, power rusher. I mean, um, this uh, D tackle isn't a big need. I just I just scout these guys just just because. Scout them just just because. Get to this draft. And it's a good thing too because the people on YouTube aren't gonna see this. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get this draft. Um, so we are at pick number twenty, and we are going to definitely sim this. Let's go ahead and sim. The Chargers are now on the clock. Um, so we're gonna ahead and make our player. Pick our player. Um, I really do hope that he is still here. He's still here. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Um, the left tackle that I wanted. Uh, I don't know. This just seems like a weak um, O-line class. Um, 
Let's screw it. Let's get it. Ah, ah, that's all right. It'll definitely be an upgrade to um, Russell Loco because he's going to be going down pretty, pretty hard. The regress is going to be pretty bad on him. Um. Okay. So yeah, he they was taken. Okay, that, that's a bummer. The guy that I, the guys that I wanted was a bum. That's a bummer. Wait, hang on. Actually, if he stays there in the third, I'm gonna be so happy. Um, Dakota Colbert. Um, actually. Falcons are now on the clock. Yeah. I need a replacement because um Mike Pouncey's old. He's gonna This draft isn't as good of a draft as I expected it to be. So the Chargers are now it's kinda on the clock. it's kinda bummers, but it's all good. I ain't worried about it. Okay, so it's on my draft board, don't have re that receivers on my draft board. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, so we got him, Javier Shelton. The Let's see him. Are now on the clock. Oh, that's a good pick. Ah, it's all good. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and end the draft here. Cause uh, all this has just lost my interest in drafting. We def I guess we definitely need to pick a receiver up in the off in the off season. Um, so depth chart, I need to start um, Justin Jackson as my power back and then Justin Jackson is my power back and then Austin Eckler is my third down back. Um, safeties, we didn't get anybody good, anybody, so we're all good. Corners, I don't think we got anybody yet. Right outside linebackers, we don't need, we don't have anybody. Um, we do have... Hey, where are you, friend? There you go. So I kind of want to get him developed in the preseason. Um, let's get Rick Ricky Gregory started up. Because I definitely need to find the uh, Melvin Ingram replacement. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. I usually leave this part out but why not I'm just gonna leave it um, let's get Easton stick a strong arm um, I, I definitely need to 100% change to a four a base 4-3 because in all honesty we are not a base 4-3 we are I mean we are not a cover 3 even though um, even though Gus Bradley likes to use um, the 4-3 system, the uh, cover three, cover three a lot. I we have a um, base 4-3 team. I, I feel so. Yeah. So I'm gonna get Shelton. I wanna get Cortez Broughton in started. So yeah, this is this defense is the problems. I think. I hate every time when it does that. Like it just like it puts the best overall player in the spot that's not supposed to be there. So I'm gonna put Trey Pipkins back there. I need Pipkins to develop as much as he can because like he he needs to develop now. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead get out, okay. Cortez Broughton, I hope by the time he's at least like a 66 or a 67, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. Yeah. So, okay, so Trey Pipkins went up and overall, so that's good. So, I'm hoping and I'm praying that this actually works out well. I'm Justin Liggins upgraded. Hoping and praying, you know, some, nothing bad happens. Um, number three, this is going to be number four right here. And we are winning our preseason, hopefully our off, our regular season 
goes well to Hopefully our off season goes well too. Or I mean not off season, uh, regular season goes well too, to where we actually win out a lot of games. Um, and in actuality, I think I'm gonna move um, Amiki Ekbule to right end, so that way he gets some playing time and. Some playing time, not a whole lot, but some. Because Ochenna Nwosu is basically the starter at this point, so I'm gonna have and have Amiki Ikbule there, and then we're gonna have Melvin Ingram there. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Um, Rush is gonna be Amiki Ikbule. Egg bully, egg bully, whatever. Same smell. Alright, cool. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Alright, Jerry Tillery. He's upgraded. Everybody's upgraded. That's good to go. Okay, so we are 82 overall, 81 offense, 89 defense. Um, This can't get better, honestly. This team can't get any better than it needs to be. Um, so I definitely need to build an O-line. Um, he has um, Tyra. No, the Eastern Stick has the weapons. Now he, now we just need to win. Honestly, um, I hate when the Sim, when the stinking, when I hate when Madden does like, like they put people where they're not supposed to be put just because of their overall. Like, I hate when Madden does this. I want to put Malachi Dupree there. There we go. There we go. Alright, so let's sim to the midseason. And we'll see what happens. Now I'm hoping we're another 4-4 record, maybe. I hope at least a 4-4 record. Hopefully, I don't know. Um, let's see the verdict. Okay, dokies. So we are 2-5. That is horrible. That's horrible. Uh, I kind of figured this would happen. Um, Joey Bosa's contract is here. Um, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely sign him. I want to sign him, please. Yep. And Desmond King's contract is here too. I need him here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, for Lamp, I need you 100%. 100%, I need you. Um, Russell Lacombe, he can go, he can go. Um, Dan Feeney's not gonna go just yet. Um, Rayshon Jenkins, he's a backup player. He's a good backup player, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep him. But the peep, the main peeps that I want to work on is um, not him. Um, he digressed badly. The main that I want to get is um, Desmond King. Uh, Keenan Allen's contract is probably going to run us not broke, but he wants. He's 28, and he's by the time his contract is over, he's going to be 70. He's going to be 32 years old. So I kind of want to see how this goes out. This plays out. Um, he, I remember, if I remember correctly, from the s beginning of the season, he had, um, he had a superstar X Factor, I think. He had, like, elite route running or whatever. I don't remember. All I know is that he, he took a big regression. He's gonna take a big regression. That's why, like, I just want to get him on a two-year deal, and that's it. If he's not going to accept, if he accepts... Um, the offer that I was that I'm going to give him after then hopefully this works out fine all right so we're at the end of the season and we still didn't make it um we are three and 13 this time which is even worse uh Easton stick uh, he has 33 touchdowns and eight interceptions uh, basically 3900 yards um, Rushing we did horrible, so we definitely need to draft a running back for sure 
Our receiving Keenan Allen puts up a lot of yards every time. We sh he definitely deserves that big contract. Um, Hudson Longwell let up 21 sacks. Uh, Trey Pipkins um, 10, Mike Pouncey 8, Dan Feeney 7, and Forrest Lab 3. Defensive wide Drew Tranquil led the team in 106 solos with in total 137 tackles and 4 sacks, which is not bad actually. Joey Bosa, wow, there is, there is not a lot of pressure. Either there wasn't a lot of pressure or everybody just got in. Like I feel like everybody just got in on a sack. Um, interceptions is definitely one is definitely low. Um, we definitely need to bring up the interceptions. So, if Keenan has contract, then that's nice. But if he doesn't take this contract, we have receivers to back up. Um, but the one person that I 100% want on our team, I want Desmond King. Ah, oh, damn, he wants a lot of money. Desmond King wants so much money. Um, Keenan Allen, yep, he signed. Alright, so I'm gonna have, I'm going to franchise tag Desmond King. Uh, I gotta have him on the team. I 100% I have to. Dan Feeney, um, he wants to come back on a two year deal, so yes. He'll come back on a two year deal and. Rayshon Jenkins, he always plays backup to Nasir Adderley, and he's going to continue to do that, which is good. Okay, so we got we got the weapons for Easton Stick. Now, um, all we need is we need more, basically just more talent now. So our team, um, how's our team looking? Um, after all that, um, Easton Stick is a 76 overall, which is not bad. Um, we definitely need a center and we need, um, I don't think we need much. Yeah. So our center I think would be alright. And then our left guard, this left guard I think will start over Dan Feeney. And Dan Feeney, I'm just gonna move him into the center. He can start over Scott Questenberry because I don't think Scott is ready yet. He's not ready just yet. Um, I think just um, about a few more games and he'll be all right. So there's our O-line right there. O-line definitely is nothing. Basically nothing. We definitely need to upgrade it a little bit. Um, defensively, we have Amiki Egbule, who is a 75 overall, which kind of surprised me, I guess. Because like he has like 83 finesse, but his block shedding is horrible. Um, but we did make the wild card. Wait, what? We... Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. So our linebacking core is well and nice. Um, Jatavis Brown is a superstar. Um, what is his ability? His ability is secure tackler and lurker. Wow. Okay. And this are then basically yeah. So um, I'm gonna start. I have him and I have Springer Springs starting. In case uh, Desmond King doesn't take the next offer that we give him, uh, Cortez Brown is a 69 and Shelton is a 74 overall. 74 overall that's um, progressing quite nicely um, what I do want to do is I do want um, I do need a running back but not running back is not a terrible need I do need to store up this O-line because this O-line gave up so much sacks we have 50 million caps so I could somewhat go on a spending spree maybe I wouldn't mind getting a quarterback in the free agency, but he just wants way so much, too much money. Sean Watson, he just wants way too much money. Um, oops, excuse me. Um, Deshaun Kaiser wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Um, Leonard Fournette also wouldn't be a bad idea either. He has normal dev. Philip Lindsley isn't a bad idea either, but uh, not right now. Wide receivers is okay. We're okay on wide receivers right now. I can just pick. I, I can just pick one up in the draft. Um, Dion Dawkins is here. I could get him maybe. Um, Malcolm McDowell is here too. Julian Davenport is here. Cameron Irvin. Um, shucks. Pat Eflin is here too, so that's not bad. Um, Corey Lindsley's here. Mike Pouncey's here. Um, um, Larry Warford um, is here. Ron Leary, Kyle, all those good people that I can't afford. Um, ooh, Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett would be nice. Um, Jordan Willis is also nice too. Um, Malik Jackson. Um, Davin Godchalk is gone. Sheldon Rankins would be nice too, but no. Solomon Thomas is here. He wants three mil a year. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert. Hey, let's him. Let's move for right now. We're gonna move Solomon Thomas inside. We're gonna kick him inside, and we're good. So I honestly 100% waited for this. That's the whole reason why um, uh, year one I didn't I didn't really want to like sign any. I just didn't want to do any free agents. Oh shucks. Um this Yep, so Yep, he's a 77 overall, which is not bad. I don't mind that at all on 100 percent If we're being 100 percent here, I don't mind that. I don't mind that pick at all. Justin Jatavis Brown is gonna be done for in a few. So is okay, so and then Desmond King needs to 100% step it up because I'm going. I'm, I franchise tagged him for a reason. So we got 40 million cap, and our D tackles are good. Our defense is good. We just need a QB. We got the first overall pick. Um, and this is not a QB round, I believe. Nope, this is not a QB round at all. Oh, this might be a QB round for him. Oh, I'm definitely liking Connor Vick. The reason why is because I'm liking that. Um, six, seven, oh. He's a first overall, but no, not worth it. 6-4, okay. He's a good, uh, oh, wow, yep. Okay, he's fast. So, oh my goodness, these are a lot of, oh, this is going to definitely be a good receiver round. Hopefully he's there in the third, and hopefully he's there. One of these two, hopefully, are available in the third. If not, there's always Corey Higgins here too. I can watch him. Um, tight ends are okay. Um, o line wise, ooh, these two right here. Three actually. I know that their combine grades is. I don't know that some of their things aren't reflected depending on their combine. But I mean, let's be honest here. I don't know. Um, center, we're good on center. Defense, we're definitely good, so I don't really need that much defensive people. Right tackle, um, okay, left end, right end. Right end is, um, it isn't amazing. Um, let's see, speed rusher, LSU. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch him, actually. I'm gonna have watch him. I do need a corner. I need to draft, uh, pick a corner, maybe. 
Him, him. Yeah, this is definitely depth wise, corners is not amazing. Hmm. 448 is fast, 447 is also fast too. So these guys I'm gonna definitely watch. Um, a 5'9, which isn't all that bad, it's not good, but it's not bad either. So, yeah, this is not a good, it's not a good corner backdraft, so to speak. So let's go ahead, let's go skip ahead and see what's up. So we are at the draft with the first overall pick. The Chargers are now on the clock. The first overall pick. Um, I want that quarterback. I want that quarterback. No, nope, not him. Where's that quarterback? That quarterback, him. The Buccaneers are now on the clock. Yep. Good. Um, the reason why is because just because like I want him to develop that way um, I mean because I know that Ethan the Easton stick the isn't going to get the job done as block. good as I wanted to but um, is he still going to be our starter um, or oh, the halfback is still there that I want to um, who else is here um, the QB halfback Oh, okay. The de that D tackle is there too, which is good. The Buccaneers. Are oh, he's hidden. He's uh, 67 overall with hidden talent. Dude, I'm two for two right now. I'm two for two. I'm just saying, guys. I'm two for two. Hopefully that Chargers running back is still there that the I want, because nobody made a move on him yet. Oh no, he's gone. Never mind. Uh, well, uh, it's all right. I ain't worried. Um, where's another good running back? He's another good running back. Not really. I know that he has a good combine grade, but I'm not gonna. I'm. I. I don't want to take a big risk on him. So instead, I'm gonna go with you. The Buccaneers are now on the clock. Normal dev. Um, he's got 92 speed. I want to get him started um, as quick as possible. Um, a cornerback I definitely 100% need. The Chargers are now on the clock. Corner I need 100% because Desmond King. Because of um, Desmond King, I definitely need to get a corner 100%. Um, I'm in no rush to find a corner. Um, the Buccaneers are now on the clock. I'm just picking up depth, guys. A lot of depth people, just in case. Just in case I need to um, resign some people. But I definitely need a corner because to replace Desmond King, 100%. I need a corner to replace Desmond King for right now. Um, let's see. I know that there isn't a lot of people that can replace Desmond King. I know that for a fact. But I just need to find somebody. The Buccaneers are now on the block. Oh, that's horrible. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end this draft right here. <sighs> So we are at the end of the draft right now, and um, yeah, we're at the end of the draft. Um, and so let's go ahead and get our draft, and let's go ahead and get our rookies in. Let's go get our rookies. Let's go get Vic uh, started. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Where is that receiver? No, that's not what I want. Man, I hate when this happens. Hang on, guys. Let's go ahead and get our let's go ahead and get our rookies in. Let's go get our rookies started. Um, I want I want you starting because this is only the preseason, so that's uh, why. Malachi Dupree, I want him still in the slot. He's a good slot, the guy. No doubt about it. 
Um, Elridge. Third down back. He's gonna be a uh, three down back, 100%. And then we got Desmond King and Trevor Williams. D. Delini, this is not bad. Oh, huh. Well, let's go ahead and get him started. Get him started and get him started. Solomon Thomas and um, Shelton will start. Nope. Where's there he is? Wait. Oops. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. And Amiki Igbuli is going to stay. Um, you're going to start. Joey Bosa, that's good. Okay, we're good. So um, usually I like to, always, I always like to play the preseason, uh, like sim out the preseason and all that stuff, because that's where you get all the important XP and all that goodness. Where you, where you get all the developmental XP and all that stuff. So next season, I need to definitely land a corner. Definitely 100% need to land a, a good corner, or else that's it's game over for me right now. So we are 0 and 2. What is? So right now we are 0 and 2. Okay, now we're now we're winning. Okay, so I think all the big contract, all I think all the other good contracts are coming up too. So I need to definitely prepare for that. You don't here, you don't belong here. Um, player doesn't meet standards. He's all good. D liner, no. Ty Long is gonna stay there. And D. Delaney. Um, bench. Um, I'll just put him there. Him, I can let go. Gives us cap space. Um, Ed Jones. Yeah, Ed Jones, I'm gonna let him walk. He gives us good cap space. Um, first overall running back, do not recommend. Um, tight end situation is good. You can go. I don't know what you're doing here on the team. Okay, so now that the preseason is done. Yes. Alright, so the preseason is done. Now with all of these people all leveled up, all this good XP and whatnot. I am going to go ahead and have our starters start. Even though our starters were already starting, that's good. I want just uh, Austin Eckler starting. And defensive wise, I want Amiki Ekbuli. Where's Jerry Tillery? Jerry Tillery's gonna start. Okay, so we're gonna have. Um, um, him, and then we're gonna have Desmond King start. Desmond King needs to make up for it, that's why I franchise tagged him. He needs to make up for whatever happened. Oops. There we go. Good enough. This is our three down back committee right here. This is what's up, dude. Okay. So Desmond King needs to make up for it. Um, I'm not going to have him in the slot. I will have him actually as the number one corner. Uh, Casey Hayward would be it. Even though Casey Hayward is is regressing quite fast, um, this is year two right now. I kind of lost track. I think year 2024 is when it becomes year five. Yeah. So 
So here we are at the mid-season point. Um, before I look at the record, um, let's look at the contracts. We got Derwin James. Derwin James, he is good. Oh, nice. Um, Desmond King. Let's see if he takes this offer. Yep. Mike Williams. He's gonna. I hope he takes this offer right here. If not, nope, he does, which is good. Uchenna Nowosu. I hope he takes this offer. Yep. Um, Casey Hayward. I don't really. I'm not worried too much about. Um, Kaiser White, I hope he takes this offer because Jatavis Brown is getting old. Um, as far as Justin Jackson goes, uh, Justin Jones, he's gonna, he can come back as a backup. Okay, yep, oh, whatever. Okay, and then, um, Arion Springs can come, I, I want Arion Springs to come back. He wants 1.9, he's gonna get 1.9 mil. And hopefully everybody else is okay. So I need to get Justin Jones, Justin Jones back. I don't care. I don't. I'm not worried about these two guys. Uh, maybe Emmanuel Hall. Emmanuel Hall is. I'm gonna keep on the team. Emmanuel Hall, yeah. Emmanuel Hall, I'll keep on the team. So Emmanuel Hall is coming back, which is good because just in case. Um, Mike Will, he did, so basically I got all the people that I wanted back, so I ain't worried about the rest. We are 3-4 and four right now, so um, this is going pretty, pretty, pretty well, um, because just in case um, Keenan Allen does decide to retire, um, we, we have a good set of um, um, receivers. But what we do need, we do need just corner. We do need a corner because Tyro. What? We didn't make the play. We didn't make the. We were four twelve again. Oh, this is depressing. Oh man. I ain't worried about the quarterback situation. Um, we have zero running game. Actually, no, we kind of spread the ball around, so... But yeah, we have no running game at all. Uh, receivers did okay. Blocking-wise, everybody... Yeah, I kind of figured this would happen. Um, Javis Brown, he led the team. Um, let's see... Ooh, Chenna Nawosu got six, 12 sacks. This is nice. Um, Jerry Tillery had seven. Amiki got six. Drew, Tranquil got four, Joey Bosa, everybody else did okay, I think, did okay. Solomon Thomas, he's got zero, but he's, he's, um, trying to make the transition. Um, yeah, so, I guess, this is year two right now, so, um, yeah, um, We 100% need a running back. Like it's no cont no contest. We need a running back. Like we don't want it. We need a running back. Yeah, we need a running back 100%. Yeah. So we need a running back because Austin Eckler is not doing the job. Um, I need to get. Um, our O line is doing well, I think, and our defense is doing well. And now that like, Kaiser White's doing good too, so we're good. Amiki Ekbuli is doing good too. He's developed pretty good. Um, so, I mean, the first two years, I don't expect myself to do good. Um, so yeah. So now here comes the contracts. The last of the contracts. Um, the people who I need to sign, I need to, I have no choice but to sign, um, Justin Jackson. I need to sign him. Because Austin Eckler's not doing the job. Okay. 
And then Justin Jones, you, I wish, I hope you come back. I hope you take this offer. Yep, I hope you take this offer because it's more than what you wanted. Yep. Okay, good. Um, and then... Everybody else, goodbye. Goodbye, pack your bags, you're going home. Casey Hayward, you're just old. You're old, so... Yeah. Pack your bags, go home. You're off the team. Okay, so we got 20 mil in cap space. I can't splurge on a big free agent signing. Um, ooh, Tyree Jackson is nice, but I can't get him. Because I already have our franchise quarterback. Um, Easton Stick will start too as well, so that's good. That's going to be good. Um, uh, um, this would leave us with 10 mil in cap. Prior to get Melvin Gordon back. He is Superstar X Factor. Marlon Mack is good. So is Rashad Penny. Um, Austin Eckler is not doing it. So I'm going to... Yeah, Austin Eckler is not doing it. So I'm going to have to... Yeah, Austin Eckler is not doing it. So I have to... I have to sign. I have to find somebody. Um, wide receivers. Our wide receiver core is awesome right now, so I ain't worried about it. Um, we got Jamarco Jones. We got what? Uh, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that name. Man, these guys want big time money. Greg Sinat. Man, these guys want big time money. Connor Williams. Connor Williams wouldn't be a bad pickup. I mean, he'll definitely shore up our O line problem. Because we definitely have a O line problem. Um, Connor McGovern would be nice. Um, Joey Hunt would be nice. Um, let's see, Mackenzie. Ah, man, this is hard. Cause our O line is good. Braden Smith is a nice, thing, but I, I can't afford him. Emmanuel Ogba would be nice too. Um. I got Solomon Thomas, so I ain't worried. Tack McKinley, um, I have a Mickey Igbuli. Igbule, I'm sorry. Denzel Ward is here, wow. Um, wow. That's a, uh, that's a turn of events right there. I would have 4 million cap if I were to add this, um, contract to. Wow. And Jair Alexander is here too. Wow, um... Wow. Um... Wow, oh, I, I, I kind of want to see what happens if I were to take this. I know this is going to be stupid, but... We're gonna have like three million cap space, but at least we're getting Denzel Ward. <sighs> ah, this is gonna eat away at me if we actually get it. I mean, let's look at our corners real quick. Our cornerback situation. Um, so we definitely don't need him. It would be a, n a nice luxury pick, luxury thing to get him, but we don't need him. Oh, we don't need him. No, I'm not. I'm gonna withdraw my offer because we don't need him. We don't need him. No, we don't need him. 
Let's use this cap space for um Yeah, let's use this cap space for things that we actually need. Like we need we keep on forgetting a fullback. Keep on forgetting a fullback, so somebody Oh okay, cool, yeah, somebody did pick them. Somebody did pick him. Okay. 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 So with the what pick are we? Fifth round pick. Fifth overall pick. Um. Wendell Sharp. What are you? Oh. Okay. 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 Wow, you did horrible. Okay. What's weird is that when you take this offline, offline loads way faster than this. That's weird. That's the weirdest thing ever. Is that? So I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Okay, whatever. I'll keep an eye on him. It seems as though all the agile guys are the ones, are the people to go after. Um, corner-wise, there's nobody really that jumps out at me as awesome, except for him. Him too. Miles um, Nickerson. I'm gonna see you. You're a second round talent. What about you? He's a third round talent, which is good. I'm I'm mainly looking at their combine grades too. Combine grades and then whatever they get on their combine. This is not a strong uh Whatever class this is. It's not that strong of a class. Besides for like O-line and stuff like that. This is like another good one too. The running back, like the first couple rounds for running backs are good. But then they immediately drop off. <coughs> Oof. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna come actually come back to those ones. I'm sorry if I sound kind of boring. I'm, I'm honestly tired right now. And every time I try to load up, every time I try to live stream, it just, just, it just, my Wi-Fi just gives up. So that's why I like signing, I like signing, I like streaming at nighttime because it's better. What's that running back I was looking at right here? The seven point. He's like a third round pick. Okay. I'm watching. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm keeping my eye on these guys. All these guys with these high combine grades. Who are going undrafted? I'm keeping an eye on them. So let's go ahead and sim it and see what happens. Okay, Doki. So we are picking fifth overall. Um, I do want to see if that lineman the is are now on the still clock. there. If that lineman isn't there, then so be it. That's fine. He is there, which is exactly what I wanted to see because I am going to 100% pick him up. I can make him into a power back, a, a power O lineman, a power lineman. I ain't worried. So we, I just hit up another hidden talent. The Chargers are now that's, on the That's clock. good. That's good. So this is basically just restocking and reloading. Yeah, this is basically just us, me reloading the team. 
get ready for um, season number three, I believe this is. The this is season three, if I'm correct. So what this draft is basically for is just reloading. We just need to reload our ta our team. The Chargers I definitely need a running back because our running back is our running back team is horrible. So I definitely need a running back. Um, I'm going to watch him. Um. Yeah. Uh, he's a little faster, but the Cardinals are now on the clock. Oh, oh well, that that sucks. That's all right. I ain't worried. The Chargers mm -hmm. are now on the clock. Okay, so um, with this pick. Well, the guys, all the guys that I wanted are gone. That's, that's... All the guys that I wanted are gone. The Cardinals are now on the clock. <sighs> so we're gonna go ahead and... St gonna go ahead and sim, I guess. All right, so the 2021 draft, uh, 2022 draft is complete. This is now going. We are now going to start the year three season. Um, hopefully, we start off on the right foot. Hopefully, I don't know. I kind, I'm kind of hoping that we do start off on the right foot. We get a, if we get a hot start, it is, it, it's going to be hard to stop us at this point. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, only one. Yep, no problems. I wonder if that old lineman that I drafted is starting. No, he is not. Wendell Sharp. Wait, what? Wait, what? I, I, I'm, I'm gonna start him, I guess. I think I'm just gonna start him instead. I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start him. I, I wanna see the whole season, him starting. I really do wanna see the whole season, him starting. Cause this intrigues me, cause I saw a blue and I'm like, oh, okay. All right, so we're doing good. All of our receivers are like in the high 80s or the low 80s should I say like um, Malachi Dupree brothers Mike Wills getting there okay so we are doing phenomenal right now I think I think we're just one step away from Making it into the playoffs and going in and going, making a touchdown and making a splash. Um. Okay. Cool. Don't care. Don't care. All these receivers we don't need. I am going to get rid of them because these are a lot of receivers that I never that will never see the field at all. Except for this five right here, these five is right here good enough. Um, the only I've ever see the field is Drew Tranquil. So uh, you go to the practice squad. You go home. Um, Jatavis is 28. But I'm gonna keep him in. Luchena Nwosu. See, like, I got a lot of backups, too. A lot of good backup linemen, too, so that's good. Cortez Brown is here. Terrence Jarrett is good. I love drafting linemen. Drafting linemen, you can never have enough of them. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, let's get season three started. Wait, yeah, season three started. So we are an 89 overall, 91 offense, 97 defense. Um, I kind of want to get him started. Um, I kind of want him to develop some more just a season. So I kind of, I'm not going to start him right away. Even though he is a high overall, I mean, he is a low overall too, so... That's kind of the reason why I kind of want to keep him on the low low. Let's have him become a 76. So he is a 79 normal, he's an 82 normal, 81 normal. Our O-line is okay, We're, they're all in at least, some of them are in the 80s. Not a lot, but some of them are in the 80s, I guess. So I believe year three will be maybe a playoff run. I don't know. Year three may be a playoff run. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Year three, I'm hoping I'm hoping and praying for a playoff run. Because then year four is gonna be horrible, and then year five. Okay. Okay, mm so we got Nasir Adderley's contract up, coming up. Um, I don't think I have money for them. Yeah, I don't have the money for them right now. Why? Because Nasir Adderley's contract is here, and so is Jerry Tillery, Trey Pipkins. All the good guys here, They're all their contracts are coming up. So this is basically a Super Bowl or bust at this point. We are 3 and 5, which is still horrible. Ah, oh, man, I need to win. I need to make it to the playoffs. If I don't make it to the playoffs again, I don't I I don't know then. I don't know what to do at this point. Cuz I won't have enough money to sign anybody. Now we don't make the playoffs again. We're eight and eight. So that's something. It's better than four and twelve. But then again, the Patriot Dynasty, the Seahawks, um, and the Dallas Cowboys. Well, when they were when they were good, when they had a dynasty, um, they all were low levels. They all became low people, but they started. But then they became good after that. Um, so I definitely need Nasir Adderley. Hopefully he takes it. And then I'll take, um, Drew Tranquil. It's 28. Oh, Jerry Tillery, he can go. Ooh, I have backups, so I ain't worried. And then Malachi Dupree, he needs to come back. Jerry Tillery, he can walk. I ain't worried. Like, all my D-line, like the D-line, I ain't worried because I have backups. So that's why, like, I ain't worried. I ain't worried to lose them because I got backups. So I ain't, gonna, I ain't worried. And if I didn't get Drew Tranquil back, I would have signed him. I would have signed um, Adrian Driscoll, but I'm not gonna sign him. Um, Dan Feeney, you can go. Solomon Thomas, you can go. Easton Stick, you can go. I already got my quarterback, so actually, he wants 50 mil. Oh. Let's work on your contract there, bud. You want 50 mil a year, dude? You're not gonna affect my overall at all. Um, yeah. The running back spot is definitely holding us back from 100%, no doubt about that. And since court, and since, um... Yeah, so this basically we only got like five million caps, so I can't really sign anybody. 
Ooh, I kind of want to turn off cap space. Um, I just go balls to the walls. Like, I really do want to do that. I really do want to do that. Just turn off. Just turn it off and just go balls to the walls. Greg Little is there. Andre Dillard is there too. These guys, these guys all got normal dev. Um, Ben Powers is there. Ben Powers is another person who I was looking at. Um, on my other franchise, who I thought was pretty good. Um, Chase Rollers there. Um. Dan Feeney, he's here too, but I got Lissamore, so I ain't worried. We have Connor McGovern, this one. Kevin Zeitler is there too. Uh, Titus Howard. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, Jawan Taylor is there too. Caleb McGarry is there too. Um, Stefan Tuitz here. All the good people, basically. Jerry Tillery is there. <laughs> I ain't worried in terms of. I, I, I honestly don't need to worry about that. Like, my D-line is stacked no matter what happens. So, let's go to the draft. Like, I don't, I really don't have much... Like, let's go scout some players. I don't really have much people to, that I really want to draft. So... QB-wise, I'm good on a QB. Like, I'll probably just draft, like, a, um... What is ours? 18 overall? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna draft a backup QB. Because... Uh, running back is our number one concern right now. Running back is our number one concern right now. Like, no doubt, like, no joke, like, running back is our concern right now. Like, I really need a running, like, I really need a running back. Like, like, there is no end to how much running backs that I need make a, to actually win the soup. Because our team is good right now, like, there is nothing, there, well, there should be nothing that's holding us back from getting a... It happens. So... 2024... 2024 season. <sighs> Alright, let's get this W. I, I hope and pray that at least one of the running backs are there. If one of the running backs are there, I am happy. The because... Ah, wait, I don't have to worry. Yep, one of the running backs are there, so without further ado. The Texans are now on the clock. Oh, and he got hidden. Okay, that's good. I basically just hit a home run. Um the Chargers are now on the clock. Like if I don't um like if I really don't win get it get it in this year I'm 100% going to are now on the clock. Ooh, hello <laughs> he fell right into my lap 100% like I, I thought that people were gonna draft him but nope the nope Chargers nobody drafted him so I'm so okay now we just start drafting um, backups at this point our wide receiver core is good. Um, I need a backup center for sure. I need. I just need a backup center. Somebody to back up my other center, who has uh, star development, which kind of surprised me for a 50 some overall. Are now on the clock. He who has who has that kind of blew my mind. When some of these low overalls have um. 
I mean, some of these low overalls have that. It, it blows my mind. The Chargers are now on the clock. So, um, let's see. Ooh. Um, let's look at corners. This corners is still a need to this day. Like, we need a corner badly. There's none good. The Texans are now on the clock. Yeah, back up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sim it. So this is the final year. This is the year that we make the playoffs, at least. I honestly, on year five, I really, my goal at this point is to just make the playoffs. Like if we make the playoffs at least, then you know we'll be okay. But if we don't even, what just happened? That was that was weird. Okay, so we're good. So what's going to happen now is basically you're going to start you're going to start, um, Cedric Thorne's going to start, um, just get a bunch of my development guys starting as quick as possible, everybody's going to start, Springs, um, Hum Mumphreys is going to start, yep, everybody's starting, everybody good is starting with, with the preseason. It don't matter. Okay. And I want, I want uh, Deshaun Ky uh, Kaiser White to start. So and then what really should help is this. Coach XP. This, this, this. That. Oh, no. Uh, running backs. And let's go wide receivers. Let's make sure that everybody is up there. Um, for sure though, this will, this will be my, um, the chart, the, this will be, also be my, um, my, um, long-term rebuild team. Where I just where it'll be a series that I just keep on rebuilding as um, time goes on. Power run. Okay, Landon Lessamore. Sorry, I went quiet there. Okay, so we're one for one, which is good. So we're 80 overall, 97 defense, 89 offense. So we definitely need to, I really do hope we make the playoffs this season. Like this is like, that's ultimately my goal is to make the playoffs. Like I don't care about the Super Bowl, I don't care about anything else. My goal right now is to make the playoffs. If we make the playoffs, then that's going to be amazing. Third quarterback. No increase. Okay, no increase. Bench corner, no increase. 
Um, this player doesn't meet our standards, so what we do is that. Sixth wide receiver, he doesn't meet our standards, so um, no. Okay. Okay, alright, 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 alright. So this is the year that we make the that we make the Super Bowl or the playoffs. If we make the Super Bowl, then we make the Super Bowl. If we make the playoffs, that'd be amazing. Because right now we definitely have the team to make the playoffs. And if we don't make the and if we have the super team right here, we still don't make the playoffs. I I, I don't know what to say. Because this team is looking mighty mighty fine right now. This is honestly it, like I, I don't remember having him on the team, but okay. Like this is it, like this is the team that is literally should take us to at least the playoffs again. And if we don't make the playoffs with a 989 with this high with this caliber team, I don't know what to say. Actually probably because I suck at rebuilding teams. I just like I don't know. But um all of the guys we are six and one right now. Ooh okay uh okay okay we we got it I think I think we I we need we need the playoffs at least we can make at least the playoffs that would be def that would definitely be nice like my center alone like look at my center my center he's a he was like a 60 some overall now he's becoming a 70 overall um, my running back became an 82 overall, just like that. So I think he has superstar X factor. I don't even remember. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we're basically about to. I don't know. I'm not gonna pay anybody yet. Um, I'm gonna let them play out their contracts. So I'm hoping we make at least the playoffs. If we make the playoffs, I'm gonna definitely be happy. Like at this point, it's either playoffs or nothing, because we haven't made the playoffs the past what? The past few times. So now we have, we literally have the team to make the playoffs, and we did make the playoffs nine and seven against the ten and six Ravens. Connor Vick, um, 30, 3800 yards, thirty touchdowns. 11 interceptions. Ooh, Chris Thorne, 900 yards. Not bad. Keldon Brothers. Ooh, okay. 11 touchdowns. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, what? Bobby Bushy. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like saying Bobby Bushy. Daniel Hall. Good, good, good. I think everybody else did okay. Um, blocking definitely went down this is good to me I think it went down I, I kind of expected him because he's a low overall Drew Tranquil led the team in um, tackles again sacks Joey Bosa with everybody else falling in line um, interceptions Desmond King with three two K okay, okay. and then singles and whatnot so we have the team now. We have the team. Now let's see. Oh, hopefully, hopefully we make it. If we don't make it, then I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. And we don't make the playoff. And we don't make the Super Bowl. Well, uh... So, yeah. This was year four that we don't make playoffs and we don't make the Super Bowl <sighs> I I don't know what to do now I'm getting desperate here I legit am getting desperate here I legit am getting desperate to win to win. I'm 
getting desperate for a Super Bowl. I have to sign these guys back. I'm not gonna sign the guys who are literally 30 years 30 years old that could probably break a leg by when they start. I have to get. I'm getting desperate here. I'm getting desperate for a win. I'm legit getting desperate for a win right now. Um. Like no joke guys, I'm literally getting desperate for one. Like 2025 season, that is this, this is like what year six now? That's what I'm calling it. I'm gonna call it, it's gonna be called it's gonna be year six. I I'm getting desperate. I, I need to win. I need to get a Super Bowl win or I just don't get one at all. And luckily I got good backups. Okay, good. He's the only big contract. He's the only big contract guy. Um, everybody else is going. Um, Hunter Henry, he's going. Trevor Williams, he's going. Jatavis Brown, he's gone. Uh, Forrest Lamp, he's also going to be gone too. But in, for me to save good money, instead of like um, instead of letting them walk, I can do this to get to build to get some money back. Watch this. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna bullshit this. So Hunter Henry, he wants a new deal already. When he, when we're literally gonna be two mil in debt. Hunter Henry wants a new deal. Forrest Lamb wants a new deal when he hasn't even played out his contract yet. It doesn't make sense about these guys. I don't understand it. But luckily I got backups, so... See? My overall didn't go down much, because I got backups. See? Backups. Okay. So now, since because Keenan Allen literally can't play anymore, because I feel like he's gonna, I feel like his leg is gonna break. Uh, Malachi Dupree, he's still gonna be our slot guy. Okay, all right. Yeah, so our defense is still good. It doesn't like our defense is still good. We still got some players still here um Desmond King is old so I definitely so he's gonna re start regressing soon so my primary target right now 100% should be a corner it should be a corner huh yeah I'm gonna target a corner I want to target a corner in this in this draft. Let's target a corner. Let's target. No, no. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just like 100%. Let's just do it. We got 11 million cap. Um, Donovan Davenport's here. I, that's not a bad signing at all. Uh, Melvin Gordon. Okay. Mike Wills. Uh, Fletcher Cox is here. Nicole Hardman. Like 100%. I am one. I'm 100% getting desperate right now. I'm getting. I'm literally getting desperate for a win. Because if I don't make. If I don't uh, get this W right now, I don't know. Austin Safarian Jenkins. Mike Gasecki's here, but he wants 16 mil. Um, Ricky Seals Jones is here. Hmm. 
through samples here. Um, we don't. I don't really need that that good of a tight end. Just like a Jack Doyle type would be nice. Hmm. At this point. So what we are going to do 100% is let's go ahead and scout. This season is going to be a cornerback season. Wow, this uh, This is going to be a cornerback season or bust. <laughs> I don't know about cornerback or bust, but cornerback. But well, I'm looking at him him too. Because then it gives me flexible options for when um, Desmond King leaves. So I literally got my number one option right here. And Kareem Robinson. And I don't really need much. Like, D-tackle is good. Like, I, I don't need to worry about that. Like, our linebacking core is is spot is spotless like it's it's crazy how good our linebacking core is yep kind of figured yep kind of figured it's a six point two our D line is good like I don't know why I'm scouting I'm just scouting them because I want to look I'm scouting them just to look. I think I might have scored something good. So let's go ahead and send to the draft, boys. This is all or nothing. This season right here is a all or nothing season. Like if we make the if we make the playoffs the again this season, then it's golden. We're good. The Chargers. We have to make the, the playoffs. Ball. Like I'm, I'm hoping we make the playoffs 100%. The cornerback is here that I wanted. Hopefully he's still here. Oh man, that one guy that I wanted is gone. That sucks. He's the early the second round talent. But I'm gonna pick him. Okay. I'm gonna pick him at that round. Round two. I was looking at somebody. I forgot who I was looking at. Dang it. I forgot who I was looking at. Oh, yeah. I'm watching him, but I want to see what's he, what's what he's all about. The Panthers are now on the clock. 71 normal dev. Then why was he rated a number one overall pick? Sometimes I don't get that. The Chargers are now on the clock. But all I know is that I need flexible options in case. Oh, that lineman that I wanted is gone. Oh. Six. Okay, so I'm watching him. I'm watching him. I think they're both going to be gone by then. I ain't worried. The Panthers are now on the clock. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. That's 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 what I want. That's what I want to see. The Chargers are now on the clock. I have a feeling that he's gone. Yep, they're gone. All the ones that I wanted are gone. Well, okay. <sighs> well. Well, 
that's that's a bummer, but oh well. Uh, now we just start drafting um backups. The Panthers are now on the clock. We start drafting backups now. I'm honestly 100% is I'm on I'm 100% desperate right now for for a bowl. The Chargers are now on for the clock. a uh, Super Bowl. This is year five right now, and if I don't make it year five, then yeah, and uh, I don't make it year five. That's it. The Panthers are now on the clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this through. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have those two quarterbacks start. <sighs> okay, especially that blue talent uh, corner. Where is he? Right here. 100% gonna want him to start. Um, where's my other? Uh, I hate when this happens. This is Super Bowl or bust right now. Cause we got the team, I just don't understand why we're not winning. Cause this is year five right now. Year five. This is the make it or break it season right now. This is a make it or break it season, so we need we need a win. We need a uh, yeah, we just need a win. We need like I I need a win. I need to win 100. percent Um, 60. 75. So before we go ahead and start the season, I kind of want to get rid of whoever's whatever's holding us back. 93 overall with an 84 overall backup. He's superstar. What? Leapfrog and jukebox. How is Connor Vick not? How is I don't understand. How is Connor Vick not a uh, superstar? I don't understand. I have so much good receivers though. It's gonna be hard letting them go. Well, whoever. See, look like all of these guys. This is it's hard to it's hard to pick who should I who should I pick to start. It really is. You can go into the practice squad, or you can just go home. No. Okay, so this is this is 100% a Super Bowl or bust. So I'm just letting I'm just like making sure these guys all go. Okay, wait a whole second. I don't. Uh, wow. Okay. So our O line is really, really getting good. Amiki Ikbuli. He's doing good. He's at 83 overall. Okay, he's gonna give us some more money. So we got these two, three guys right here. All right. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Like our cornerback depth is amazing. How good we how good of corners we have. Mm, okay, and so is uh, him too. So this is Super Bowl or bust. We we either make the Super Bowl or we don't. At this point, I'm getting I'm pretty desperate right now. Wait, what? Oh, what the heck? They must have um Cause I remember scoring him for sure. But I don't remember have him having a I don't remember him having hidden development. Oh, this is sweet. This is what's up, dudes. So yeah, we got a good team. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care. I hate when this happens every time. Yep, lost connection to EA. I hate when it happens. It's like EA is can't. It's like literally EA can't handle what's about to happen. So they're just so they're fixing it to where I don't make it. Ah, hmm. uh, this is it, guys. Alright, so our week one players needing upgrades are okay. Alright, so we are literally Super Bowl or bust right now. If I don't make a Super Bowl then this is this is a this is a loss in my book. Three and four right now. Ah, uh, this is not good. This is not good, guys. This is one hundred percent not good. I have to break people starting, right? Wow, these guys are eighty overall. Okay, that's that. That that completely changes everything. Okay, so um, we're good. 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 Ooh. Okay. So it's either Super Bowl or bust right now. We need to make this Super Bowl. If I don't, if we don't see at least, a, if I don't see at least the playoffs on this board, I don't know what to do. Oh my. God, what? Nine and seven, we just missed the playoffs. Oh, that's depressing. And we had such a good team, too, guys. Damn, that sucks. Damn, and Connor Vick was. Wow, and Connor Vick, too, was playing so well, too. Damn, man. And our running back was just about to get started, too. Oh, wow. That's... That's disappointing. Well, this is a five-year rebuild, so... Uh, yeah, that's disappointing. Ah. God, that's that's disappointing right there. Like we literally had the team to build too. Like we literally had. 
I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed. Like... We literally had the team to win. Wow. Why, well, um... Well, I guess that's it. Um, yeah. Well, guys, I guess that's it. Um... This is a this is a definitely a loss in my book. 